Cooperation and conflict are two sides of the same coin. Some models of the evolution of cooperation suggest that cooperative behaviour can evolve when we choose partners to cooperate with, perhaps on the basis of reputation or even on the basis of arbitrary tags or labels. Such tags determine not only who to help but also who is excluded from cooperative networks. When working in a rural community in China, we became aware that some individuals were labelled Jubo, which is a harmful tag, often translated as witch. That meant they were believed to poison food using supernatural powers. Jubo is believed to spread in the population like an infection. For example, if you find something valuable in the street and take it home, this could cause your household to become infected. We determined networks of cooperation in this community by measuring who cooperated with whom in several different ways. We measured who helped whom working in the fields. We also played gift games, where people can select other people to gift with some money, so we could map networks of friendship. This population was matrilineal with a rare social system where husband and wife usually live apart. So we also mapped which households were connected through marriage partners and through children. We discovered that those labelled with the harmful tag cooperated mainly with others who were also labelled. So non-Jubo do not help Jubo with farming very often. Jubo usually gave and received presents to and from other Jubo and they rarely gave gifts or get married or have children with non-Jubo. This label was detrimental, especially to the female heads of household who have lower reproductive success than those without the label. So for the first time here, we show quantitatively how a cultural label defines who cooperates with whom, both in helping and in reproduction. And this assortment has consequences for biological fitness. Witchcraft beliefs were common all over the world, especially in societies where legal systems were weak. Anthropologists have long argued that fear of victimization promotes compliance with social norms. Spreading witchcraft accusations is a low-cost mechanism for punishing transgressors. It may be that witchcraft accusations arise most often when patriarchal norms come into conflict with more matriarchal social systems.